Paul George has not had the smoothest of careers. There was the horrific injury he faced in 2014, the disappointing playoff runs during his two seasons with the Thunder, and more recently, there was the emergence of Pandemic P during the 2020 playoffs. But right now he's looking back to his best. He's had his best run of games in a Clippers jersey, which has seen him earn the Western Conference Player of the Week in Week 16, after pulling up an average of 33.6 points on 56.5 shooting. And with this run of form, it's a good time to reflect on the journey that PG has gone on to date in his career. Sure, it's one that's been frustrating for him and fans alike, one that you feel potential has not been fulfilled. But to still have done what PG has done, after everything he's been through, he's shown an immense level of mental toughness. He is, after all, an Olympic gold medalist and a seven-time All-Star. So this video will explain three lessons in resilience we can all learn from Paul George. On August 1st, 2014, Paul George experienced one of the worst injuries ever seen on a basketball court. During a Team USA scrimmage, he collided with the basket stanchion after fouling James Harden, and his awkward landing led to a double compound fracture. What was amazing was that George was cleared to put weight on that leg at the end of September and by October he was already practicing jump shots again. And he returned to the court for the final six games of Indiana's season on April 5th. It was a remarkable comeback and what's clear is that George didn't just go through that injury, he grew from it. He adopted what psychologists call a growth mindset where you see challenges, obstacles and hurdles as things to overcome as opposed to things that end up destroying you. PG knew that if he was going to come back from that injury and play his best ball again, he needed a complete overhaul of his entire approach to what it meant to be an athlete. It forced him to learn and apply more when it comes to recovery. He also for the first time hired a chef to ensure that he didn't gain any unnecessary weight and that he was eating the best foods to facilitate recovery. And because of this approach, PG became one of only a small handful of players to come back from a serious injury and put up career best statistics the following season. Sadly, many others just go through an injury. They languish in the frustration, the pain and the anger. And because of this, this slows their recovery. They're not motivated. They don't retain that level of optimism needed to get back to your best. But those with a growth mindset like George see it in a weird way as a blessing. It created a newfound appreciation for what it really takes to take care of your mind and body. It forces you to keep learning. And we see this has continued up to today with PG saying in a recent interview about his upturn in form that he's still all about being a student of the game. Now with PG's recent improvement in form, it's telling that he's just taking each game as it comes. He's not getting ahead of himself and he's just wanting to do the job one night at a time. What he's been doing is not allowing himself to get caught up in the bigger picture, which for him is ultimately winning a championship. And the problem with goals like that is if you overly focus on them and ignore the present moment, then you're going to start having lapses in concentration. And that can ultimately lead to 3-1 leads being blown. Instead, what top mentally resilient athletes do is add one picture a day to the mosaic. You know, those pictures of people that are made up of hundreds, if not thousands of pictures of them. Mentally resilient athletes have a clear picture of what the final picture will look like, but they realize they need to keep focused on every smaller picture right here, right now. It was this mindset that, again, helped George recover from his serious injury. For his rehab, George was locked in and focused on firsts. The first step, the first jog, the first jump shot, the first dunk, and then finally the first game back. That last one was the big picture, but that can only be made up of all those smaller pictures that came before it. And we're seeing this mindset re-emerge in PG, who's had a bit of a nagging toe injury, and he said in a recent interview, the injury allowed me to make an excuse for myself, but then I put it into perspective. If I'm gonna play, then don't let it limit me. I feel like I've had this breakthrough because of that mindset. Focusing on the present moment allows you to play without limits. You're not overly concerned with things like the shot clock or the scoreboard. You stop making those excuses PG had been making and it allows you to just start adding up those smaller pictures to build up that mosaic again. During last season's playoffs, PG became known as Pandemic P and the internet really let him know about this. But then George came out to reveal that he'd been struggling with his mental health during his time in the bubble. Underestimated mental health, honestly. Um, I had anxiety, um, a little bit of depression. Uh, just being locked in here, and, um, you know, just I just wasn't there. I checked out. And here you just have to applaud George for being so open and vulnerable. Despite all the positive changes we've seen in mental health awareness over the past few years, it's something that necessarily hasn't transferred 
as much over into sport, where traditional attitudes of just sucking things up continue to dominate. But an increasing amount of psychological evidence is showing that expressing vulnerability comes with many benefits in relation to being more resilient. Quite simply, it allows you to get stuff off your chest, the things that have been eating you up inside, and can take a huge weight off your shoulders. Being able to speak openly about such private matters can help with a greater sense of connection to team members and also help athletes come to develop better coping skills when it comes to dealing with stress both in-game and outside the game. And for George, this openness has clearly allowed him to become a lot less harsh on himself. And in doing so, make him feel like he's got a lot more freedom to just enjoy his time on the court. And having that pressure stop weighing him down means that he's now throwing up less bricks. So those are just a few lessons in resilience we can all take away from Paul George. Let me know in the comments below what else you think gives PG that mentally tough mindset. Give the video a like so it can reach other people. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.